song service. Let us sing Blessed Assurance. Vesper, happy Sabbath all. Happy Sabbath to all. Sabbath. Welcome to our Vesper meeting online through Zoom platform. And my task this evening is to read the sequence and the participants of our program. We started with a song service led by Sister Biril Kaliba. So it's our first time to call her Mrs. Kalipa. Congratulations, by the way, in behalf of our church. After my part, our song leader will lead the opening song. And then Brother Jerome Villarmino will give the opening prayer. After the opening prayer, we're going to hear a special song prepared and will be rendered to God by Sister Ron Kahan. After the song, we will be hearing the message for tonight by God's active young leader, soon to be not single anymore in God's time. Brother John Ray Karas. After the message, we will have our prayer band. So please prepare your prayer requests. During the uh, worship, you may chat 
your prayer requests. After the prayer band, we are going to sing our closing song to be led again by Sister Biril Kaliba. And after the closing song, our speaker will give a closing prayer. So this is the sequence of our program. May God bless us all. For our opening song, let us sing O Day of Rest and Gladness. Shall we pray? Our Father in heaven, thank you so much, dear Lord, for this opportunity to gather together and through online, dear Father. Thank you so much for your guidance throughout the week. Thank you so much for all the blessings. And as we continue our worship tonight, dear Father, send your holy angels to each one of us. Open our hearts and minds so that we can comprehend the words that our brother will share us tonight your father thank you so much for your love and care thank you so much for hearing and answering our prayer in christ's name we pray amen King of kings, I wanna pray. 
Thank you so much sa akong mga pinahihan uh, ng mga talent. Uh, your grace, thank you for rendering that song. The song reminds us that we need to trust in the Lord. And also, I uh, would like to acknowledge the support of my twin brother. Uh, kung wala mo sa akin mga egso na ako'y kaluha. Tanawa namin yung sa screen, kaya na ako'y kaluha niya. <laughs> Uh, we'd like to acknowledge our visitor from all the way from Cebu, uh, Brother uh, Phoenix Ryan Ragas. I know Sister Gagang knows him. And welcome to Bisdak Church, Brother Ryan, and to your family. Uh, Bisdak means Bangpra International, Seventh day Adventist Church from Thailand. Thank you, uh, Elder Jong, for giving me this opportunity uh, for giving me this time again to share God's message to Bistak Church. I may not be there if the church will open, but uh, you're always in my prayer uh, that the church will grow 
and that the church will continue its work uh, in that place. Before we start, I'm requesting everyone to please bow down your heads for prayer. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we are about to study your word and we are asking the Lord for your presence. We are asking that may your Holy Spirit, Spirit be upon us. We cannot discern spiritual things, O oh Lord, unless we are possessed by your Holy Spirit. So tonight, we are pleading, Lord, for the possession of the Holy Spirit in our hearts and our minds. May you empty our hearts with our personal desire and help us, Lord, to long for the heavenly things. Because you promise that if we long for those things, those things are eternal and we are assured of your presence. Thank you, Lord, for giving us wisdom tonight as we study your word. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Before we, before I go further, let me uh, share my screen. This message tonight, brothers and sisters, is very short. And I was asked yesterday and I tried to make uh, slides this after this afternoon because I, I'm, I tried to look for uh, look for new sermons but I cannot find anyone in, I cannot find one in my files so I need to make new one because I think most uh, most of my sermons are already preached in, the, in our church so I need to make a new one so tonight's message is remember your creator now all of us have this remembrance that we cannot forget right? maybe it's a thing or a person that's why i would like to ask you who do you remember the most uh, let me ask one from our from one of our brother of our brethren here, let me ask. Um, see, Sister Alile, Alile, Sister Alile. Yes. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, Sister Alile. No, say mo hal tibok ako kinabuhi, Sister Alile. Who do you remember the most that impacted your life so much that you cannot forget? Maybe it's your friend, your parents, or maybe your boyfriend or anyone my mom and why is that sister alile my mom because we are a broken family but my mom stood up as our father at the same time so i can't forget her because um it's very hard but she made it for us praise the lord thank you so much sister alile now every one of us has this special person that we cannot forget or we will not forget. That's why one of the saying says, it's hard to forget someone who gave so who gave you so much to remember. Is that correct, right? This is correct, right? It's, it's really hard to forget someone who gave you so much to remember, especially if you are in a relationship and then you broke up and then you cannot move on like uh, Sister, and it is right sometimes it's hard to it's hard to forget it's hard to forget someone who gave you those sweet memories who gave you those sweet uh, uh, words that encourage you or even lift you up now it's it's uh, if you are watching now our social media we have this uh, viral post now which is about relationship uh, eight years versus two months, right? I hope uh, you are aware of that uh, uh, a viral issue now. And I, th I think all of us are aware of this. And we if I tried to read uh, the, the comments of some people, and even some, uh, some people I knew, uh, I know, they're posting it and they're even commenting and you can really see that they were so much they, they, they care so much of the feelings of of the lady because can you imagine for eight years like sister jing jing 
if, if Sister Jingjing is here for eight years. Uli na nauwi sa wala, mas Tagalog pa. But, now who do we remember the most that we cannot forget? Now, the book of Ecclesiastes gives us a, a thing that we need to remember or a person that we need to remember. Now, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verses 9, uh, 9 to 12, which is the focus of our study this evening. It says, Besides being once, the preacher also taught the people to know, weighing, and studying, and arranging many proverbs with great care. The preacher sought to find words of delight, and upright, uprightly he wrote the words of truth. The words of the wise are like goats and like nails firmly fixed are the collected sayings that are given by one shepherd. My son, beware of anything beyond this, of making many books, there is no end, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. Now, friends, the Bible tells us, the book of Ecclesiastes, King Solomon tells us that we need to enjoy life. And I think all of us will agree with me that we need to enjoy life. God has given us this life, this gift of life that we, that we need to enjoy. If we, will not, if we will not enjoy our life, then what's the purpose of our stay here? Even the wisest king who lived in this earth said that we need to enjoy life. But at the same time, we are also admonished of the coming judgment that God is preparing for those who enjoy life, but at the same time, enjoy the things of this world. So brothers and sisters, let's not, let's not forget that God has given us life to enjoy, but also we should be aware of the coming judgment that God is preparing for us. We will die. We will return to ashes where we came from. That's why we need to enjoy life. Even he said in Ecclesiastes chapter 11 that we need, as we enjoy life, we need to remember the days of our youth. We need to remember our Creator in the days of our youth. Now, every year, brothers and sisters, thousands of, thousands of uh, students of, or teenagers are subjected to a commencement speech and are ready to, to listen to their teachers, to their administrators about the coming life that they will experience after they finish high school. Now, our parents even encourage us to pursue our dreams in life, right? especially for young people just like me. And even to those who are already in, in married life, we are, back then, you know, when, when we are still studying, we are encouraged by our parents to pursue our dreams in life. Our parents will tell us, you study hard, you, you do your best. Okay, don't enter into a relationship because you need to focus in your studies. Now, brothers and sisters, as we have this journey, especially as young people, why should we remember that? Now, King Solomon admonishes us that as we enjoy life, we need also to be aware that there is a coming judgment. That's why, why, sh that's why the question is, why should we remember God? Why should the young remember God in their youth? Why we as young people, we should also remember God in our youth? Now, all of you will agree with me that today we can see that Satan is doing his best attacking our youth and to, to tempt our youth not to focus on the work of the Lord, to tempt our youth not to involve themselves in the work of the Lord. That's why the question is very important to all of us. Why should we, the young people, why should we, the church, Remember God as we continue, as we enjoy this life. 
I tried to study and research and to search, I will share to you at least five reasons why we need to remember God. First reason is because simply because God is our creator. That's one, I think this is the very the, the foremost reason that we should have in our mind that He is our God. He is the reason why we are existing in this earth. He is the reason why we're still alive. Because He is our Creator. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 23 says, Lord, I know that people's lives are not their, are not their own. It is not for them to direct their steps. Jeremiah is acknowledging that his life, our lives, is not ours. It is God's. That's why we need also to acknowledge that He is our Creator. Second reason why we need to remember God, and we young people, why we need to remember God in our youth. Because according to Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 16, 16, it will increase your chances for long life. If you not agree with me, let us read chapter uh, Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 16. It says, Obedience to the will of God increase your chances for a long life. It says here, Honor your father and your mother as the Lord your God has commanded you, that your days may be prolonged, and that it may go well with you on the land which the Lord your God gives you. This is one of the commandments of the Lord. As we honor our parents, as we now honoring our parents, it meaning we are obeying the will of God because that's, that's the will of God for us to honor our parents. And, he, and that command was assured with a promise that he will prolong our life if we do his will. Friends, now this may not be true to someone who died earlier, but I believe this is the promise of God to, all, to those who believe in him. That if we will obey his will, our lives may not be as smooth as we expect, but I believe that if we, if we give our lives to him, we have the chance for a long life. The third reason why we need to remember God in our youth, you will not forget him in your old age. All of us will get old. Dilit na magpuyo ni ning kalibutan na Edson no? na hindi tayo uh, magstaining sa mundong to na hindi tayo tatanda. Lahat tayo tatanda. Kahit anong gawin natin na o kahit anong gawin natin na maglagay ng mga uh, pampaganda o pampadelay ng uh, sa skin natin na uh, tatanda tayo but whether we like it or not we get old. But God has has reminded us that we need to remember him for us not to forget him when we get into that stage. That's one reason why our parents sent us to Bible class when we were still small. Have you remembered when you were still small? Still small? I can still remember. I even joined, I even joined uh, Baptist class, Baptist Bible class when we were still small. And we cannot forget that if we join in that uh, vacation Bible school of Baptist Church, uh, and we have uh, Bible games, we have these quizzes about Bible, and we are always at the top. Why? Because we studied already in in our church, so we are always number one in our in, in the vacation Bible school. So one reason why our parents sent us to Bible school because God is. I mean, the, our parents is concerned to us that we will not forget him or God in our old age. We will not forget his teachings when we get old. But sad to say, as we get old, we start also, some of us, if not all of us, starts to forget, forget God. One reason is our life, our, the situation of our lives. And sad to say, that even at, at the peak of our success, most people forget God. Even Ellen White says, many survive the test of hardships, but few survive the test of 
prosperity because they forget God. In Proverbs 22 verse 6, it, it's, it tells us that train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Second, we can reflect in the life of Timothy that when he was young, he was the recipient of a faith which had endured three generations. If we read 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 5, we can read there that the grandparent, the mother, or the family, the parents of Timothy, and even his grandparents passed that faith to him that Timothy uh, lived until he died. Now, I know not all of us came to a family, came to an Adventist family. Some of us here was converted. But to those, to those of us who came from an Adventist lineage, to those to an Adventist family, our grandparents are very faithful. Our parents are faithful also. But how about to us today, especially to us young people? Does that faith was passed to us? Do we have that faith just like Timothy that he received from his from his forefathers, from his ancestors? Now, the fourth reason why we need to remember that you will not have the many worries of your friends. Let us read Proverbs 3, 21 to 26. It says, my son, he was this this chapter is referring about the doctrines of Jesus of the doctrines of God. And Solomon was trying to remind his people, my son, let them not vanish from your sight. He was referring about the doctrine, the teachings of God. Keep sound wise and discretion, so they will be life to your soul and adornment to your neck. Then you will walk in your ways securely and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden fear, nor of the onslaught of the wicked. When it comes, for the Lord will be your confidence and will keep you, keep your foot from being caught. Now, it doesn't mean, brothers and sisters, that if we follow God, if we give our lives to God, it, it doesn't mean that our lives will be easy. It doesn't mean that we will not experience tribulations, hardships, or even sickness. But no. But the thing here, yes, we will experience those things, but as long as we will not forget God, then we will not have those many worries, worries just like our friends who are not in the pain. Means we'll have, we will have problems, but still we can smile, but still we can say, praise the Lord. Still we can say, the Lord, I'm still, I will still serve you no matter what. Because you do not worry because you understand and we know, you know, that God is still in control. And the last reason why we should remember God is through your example, through our example, others will be led to Christ. Now, let me ask you this, brothers and sisters. When was the last time you experienced Jesus Christ in your life? When was the last time you experienced the presence of Jesus Christ in your life that made you an example, a blessing to others? Timothy, when he was young, when he was young, he was a good, he was a good example. He was reminded by Paul that you need, do not think that you are young, even though you are young, but you need to be an example to our, to our believers. That's why my son, sa pagto, dili na patigulangay sa pag, sa edad or sa kabataay my son. Second Kings chapter five verse three gives us a lesson of a young maid who did what she could in a bad situation. Remember the story of, of, of Naima, uh, Naaman? This young maiden, this young lady, did what is best 
to to minister to this to to her uh, gentile master and we know the rest of the story now how about us brothers and sisters are we sharing are we making ourselves available to the ministry of the lord are we making ourselves a minister to our co-teachers are we making ourselves available for our students just like this young lady who did what is best what is good what he what he could in a bad situation because she she knew that in that situation she can be used by God you can be an example to your parents friends or teachers or even to our brethren in Bible study and devotion now all of us has reasons why we are here in this place now what is your reason why you are here what is your reason why you are in that school what is your reason why you are in that place and I hope and I pray brothers and sisters that we are making ourselves as a good example to the people that we meet, we meet every day because God is reminding us this evening that through our examples through our good behaviors through our simple kindness it will lead others to Christ one one preacher says sometimes it's better to be kind than to be right so I hope tonight brothers and sisters wherever we are whatever we do we should make ourselves a good example to the people that surround us especially to our co-teachers to our students and to the people we meet every day because God can do anything as long as God can do anything through you through you and me as long as we make ourselves available for him and for him for him alone and to end this short message to all of, for all of us tonight King Solomon is reminding us that we need to enjoy our lives but brothers and sisters always remember Christ as we enjoy life yes we may have this uh, high sa big salary we may have these uh, things that we want but friends brothers and sisters I hope we will not remember we will not forget Christ you should always should always remember that God put you in that position in that situation because he has a purpose because he has a plan why you are there and I hope we use we should use those things in good in good things you have more opportunities than your loved ones if ever dream of use them well we have these opportunities that our, that our loved ones can think of that's why we need to use these opportunities well because one of the things that we cannot uh, go back is if we lose if we lose an opportunity no matter if you're a teacher no matter what is your position if you're a teacher businessman or whatever your profession is put God first remember remembering our creator remembering our God in our lives means to put him first he's always our top priority our last priority and he's our everything that's why no matter where we are no matter your no matter what is your position profession put God first and the question is where is God in your priorities brothers and sisters is he your priority is Jesus Christ your prior priority if he is our priority are we spending time with him every evening are we if he is our priority are we spending time with him? are we spending time with him before we go to school if he is our priority are we making ourselves ourselves available for his ministry 
or we make other things as our priority. That's why King Solomon is reminding us tonight that yes, we can enjoy life that God, that God has given us, but we need always to put God first. The real reason for your education, the real reason for your existence is to serve God. Let me say this, brothers and sisters. If we will not serve God, if we are just uh, content of going to church on the Sabbath, joining Zoom, if we are just okay with uh, going to church every Saturday, then we miss the real meaning of why we are a Seventh-day Adventists. Friends, brothers, and sisters, the real reason why we are sent to school, why we are in this place, is for us to serve God in whatever capacity we can. So I hope tonight, brothers and sisters, we will remember God in our journey as we wait for his soon as we wait for his sin soon return. Tonight, I hope all of us are blessed and I hope all of us will remember God and we will always put him first as we wait for his soon return. God bless and not again happy summer. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Karas, for a great reminder to remember our God at all times in our ups or in our downs. So this moment, I would like to gather the prayer requests that you have. You may turn on your microphone and say it, say it live or you may write it in our chat box. So any prayer requests? Okay, I would like to add in our prayer request the flight, the flight of our brethren who are going back to Philippines. Uh, Brother Adonis and his two sons, the Bilican family, the Balugo family, and Sister Grace Basagan. Um, I would like to ask Elder Luel. Oh, Pastor is here, sorry. Pastor, to pray for the following requests. So number one, apply to our brethren who are going back to the Philippines. Any other request? We had uh, Elder Glenn. My prayer request is Sister Elden. It's a group chat. Okay. Let me write it. Please pray for the COVID situation at Indonesia and Gary's COVID vaccination at Bangkok this coming Wednesday. Okay, from Sister Ellen. Next. Let's pray for our program tomorrow, our Sabbath services tomorrow. Let's pray for our classes. Some schools are doing online classes. I don't know if some are already doing face-to-face. So let's pray that the situation will, will get better and then we can go back to school already and go back to the church. Next, let's pray for the bereaved family of uh, Brother Melchor Valdez, the uncle of Sister Ron. So it's in our chat. 
box. Elder Glenn. Yes. One more. Uh, ang brother, ang kuya ni Lloyd because he is sick. Yes, no brother Ralph Kaliba. Let's write it. Next. Uh, please include my beloved wife. Yang check up hopefully the, the result. Okay, check up. Okay, next. Are there any other requests? See Ati Lalane. Yeah, any what is the concern? Healthy sha at saka and baby. Okay. Is the baby a boy or a girl? Girl. Girl? Yes. Okay, so Sister Lali Mira and her baby girl. Health. Any other request? Okay, thank you so much for uh, contributing your prayer requests. Let me recap. First, let's pray for our brethren who are going back to the Philippines. The Bilikan family, Brother Adonis and his two sons, Sister Holy Grace Basagan, uh, Brother Paul Balogu and his wife and his child. And then let's pray for the COVID situation in Indonesia and in the Philippines. Let's also pray for Brother Gary's COVID vaccination this Wednesday. Then let's pray for the bereaved family of Melchor Valdez. Then let's pray for Ralph Kaliba's health, Sister Mayit's checkup, that the result will be good, and Sister Lalin and her baby health. So may I ask Pastor Isagani to pray? Let us pray. Father in heaven, in an opportunity, Lord, we pray before you in the presence of our Almighty God, who always hears our prayers, the creation that you have made, trees, plants, the skies, and the sea. Our Old Testament of all your goodness and mercy and your power, that there is absolutely nothing impossible in your name. We come to you, O oh Lord, we thank you living in our hearts for giving and Sabbath day. We thank you, Lord, for giving us an opportunity to connect to you as our, our source of strength. Our our power, our companion, our special friend whom we can always count and lean on to peace all and give us peace in our walk with our Lord and with our God. At this moment, Lord, first and foremost, we thank you for giving us a lovely time to connect to you in prayer. We do know and believe that the heavenly angels are also praying with us. May our prayers, O oh Lord, be 
seated there in heaven. Thank us, O Lord, from our sins. Keep us, O Lord, from our parents. We all fall in the repetition of our lives. And may we continue to trust and put our faith in learning that whatever you allowed into our lives, these are always the best for us. We for Be the um, our brethren or leading we pray that we be with them, Lord, continuously, continuously uh, guide them in the new chapter of their life that will be staying there in the community. So in the family, uh, other than and the kids, the uh, RG, the uh, uh, and uh, those who are living in Thailand and um, following uh, the will of going back to the Philippines. Lord, we pray that we continue to bless them, continue to empower them, Lord. We the sustenance that comes from heaven. We pray, Father, that may you be this uh, family that will uh, always take care of them. The way we have taken care of them, that's also us here in Thailand. We also pray, Father, for. Closing song na ba Kuya Jong? Okay. For our closing song, let us sing Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing.
we would like to praise the Lord for this wonderful Sabbath day. We thank you for giving us your word. Reminds that reminds us that we need to remember you in our lives as we continue to wait for your soul return. And Lord, as we uh, prepare ourselves for Sabbath worship tomorrow, we pray that may your presence be upon us. May the Sabbath, oh Lord, will be a blessing to all of us spiritually. That all of us will grow and will help us to draw us closer to you as our Savior and as our Lord. Thank you, Lord, for blessing this church. Thank you for blessing our officers, our pastor. May you give them wisdom, Lord, as they continue to lead the church. May they lead according to your will and according to your purpose. Because we ask this, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Amen. Sabat pastor. Kaya mitis ba una? Sige, tulog. Tapad akong ulo dong. Praise God for the message. Thank you, uh, all the participants. Thank you for leading out our worship this evening, especially our uh, Pastor Karas, you know, former active member here and still active today. Thank you very much for your message and to all, of, all the members who worship or join with worship with us this evening. Happy Sabbath to all. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Karon makita mga kan ba manyag o manyog. Ang Mrs. Kaliba oh, makita na yung Mrs. Kaliba. <laughs> Kaliba. Ang Mrs. 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 Kaliba. Ang Sunod, kita ka na ni Mrs. Karas, no? Mabuto na mo, Mrs. Karas. Lagi. Ano ba, nagsupan buri? Kuya Jong, mabuto nga nabuta siya agsupan buri karun, Kuya Jong. Mabuto na ito sa invitasyon. Nagulat, naging start ko sa invitasyon. Nagintay talaga kami dun sa uniform. Uy, manager! Alam mo, nakakalimutan ka sa amin, manager. Supportive, yung kami sa imo manager. <laughs> <laughs>